Hi, I'm Dr. Pruner, and today we're going to be talking about something a lot of people have questions on, which is what are the differences between different types of styles of shoes and why that little tiny detail can make the difference between you having foot pain and you having the proper support to not need to end up in a podiatry office. So there are three main categories of what we're going to talk about is running shoes. And don't let the word running shoe deter you from that being an option to wear day to day. They're just a good supportive shoe because runners are on their feet a lot. They endure a lot of shock and they need to protect their joints and ligaments and tendons. So running shoes are always a really good option if you're looking for proper support. There's three main categories whenever it comes to the um, running shoe, and that is neutral, stability, and motion control. So all different brands of shoes fall into these categories, you know, Nike, Hoka, Brooks, Saucony, they all have their special shoes in each category. Think of it like a Toyota Corolla versus a Toyota, you know, Tacoma, a truck versus a car. So in, whenever you see these named brands, they're going to have names on their shoes that are going to guide you into the direction of what kind of support they want. Usually the websites will talk about it, but your local shoe distributor can explain that as well as a doctor. So what I'm going to use as an example for a neutral shoe is a Brooks shoe. This is what we sell here at our office. Brooks is an amazing brand. And this is a ghost. So easy to see on the tag. You'll see ghost and they'll be in the name somewhere on any brand that you really choose. But the neutral aspects that make this ghost a neutral shoe there's kind of three categories that you want to look at, the main ones. There's obviously a bunch of different things, but the first thing is going to be the control that's on the inside of the shoe. So a lot of times with flat-footed people or high-arched people, the middle here is where you'll get your discomfort because of how much support you have or don't have that you need. So whenever you're testing it, you can kind of just see through there that you're going to get a nice kind of bend, but not too much. This is the difference whenever you're shopping in a store and you take a shoe and it rolls like a literal burrito or tortilla because there's no support through the shoe. For people with no foot pain, they won't notice that's a big deal. But for people that are having issues, that's a really key factor for all different categories. Another thing is the type of material that the um, actual shock absorption or the rubber is made of. Some shoes are going to have something a little bit softer so that you kind of spring back a little easier. And that's what a neutral shoe will do. You'll have a little bit more spring and cushion throughout the shoe itself. And I'll mention for any shoe in general, whenever you're shopping, you're supposed to bend at your toes. If you don't bend here, and you can actually roll the shoe like all the way, I can't do it with the Brooks, but if you're rolling all the way to here, that's what your joints are going through inside that shoe device. And so that's really a key factor whenever you're shopping for a good sneaker. So the next um, shoe type is a stability shoe. Again, I'm using Brooks. And just like on the last one, this is an adrenaline, okay? So an adrenaline is a stability shoe. It still has a lot of the cushion that you'll see with the neutral shoe, so it is comfortable. But the difference is that you have more stability through the device on the inside of this sole. So as you can see, it doesn't bend as much as the last one does, and that's because they really make these more sturdy through here. Sometimes they're not. There's a bunch of different types of stability shoes that usually each brand makes, as well as neutral. So they'll have kind of a give or take of how much cushion versus how much stability, even in those different categories. But the main aspect is how much control that you're getting through here and how much you need. This is a motion control shoe. Now, most people don't need a motion control shoe. Motion control shoe are very specific for certain types of individuals with certain conditions, such as an extremely flat and flexible foot, or you have someone that, you know, maybe is a little heavier that needs more support for their weight. And this is a great option for shoe. Usually what happens is when people hate a certain brand, it's because they chose a super hard shoe that wasn't right for them and it made their feet ache. That's very common. It's really just important to consider that you may have just gotten the wrong style of that shoe. So as you can see, if I take a motion control shoe, some of the key aspects is number one, you're barely getting any bend at the toes. And that's because it's going to hold that forefoot and that rear foot really, really intact 
without too much joint motion, which is key. The next thing is the guide rail through a motion control shoe. You're not getting any shift through here. It's gonna be extremely, extremely protective of those midfoot joints so that you're not getting all the collapse that you get with super squishy shoes. And then the next thing is the foam that they use through here, while it looks very similar, it has a component to where it doesn't collapse as easy. If you'll notice whenever you start to wear shoes, you'll either get wrinkles on the side here, wrinkles on the side here, and that's just where you usually turn. Usually it's on the outside that you get them, but this will hold you a lot more stronger through the first heel contact whenever you walk, and that way whenever you're using your shoes, they don't wear out as easily, and that's why a motion control shoe is really important, and usually I would recommend if you're having issues with finding certain shoe types for you that you talk to your doctor. So those were the three main shoe categories. There's of course so many more, but these are important to understand whenever you're looking for certain types of shoes that are right for you. If you have questions about your foot type or your biomechanics of how you're supposed to choose the right shoe, it's a wonderful idea to go see your local podiatrist or foot and ankle specialist. And if you're in the Dallas area, come and visit us at Foot and Ankle Associates of North Texas today.